today we're smoking a pork butt for pulled pork sandwiches. It is 4 a.m. Ouch. <laughs> anyway, let's get this prepared. We're going to get it around the grill and then I'm going back to bed. Okay, something I rarely do because meat is usually moist. I'm going to use yellow mustard for a binder for the rub. Um, there's some vinegar qualities in the yellow mustard and I love Carolina style pulled pork. So vinegar, yes. <laughs> We're cooking this fat cap up in the smoker and we're probably going to be going for about 12 hours. So it's a almost nine pound Boston butt. Heck yeah. Oh, I got it on my hoodie. God dang it. <laughs> that for a bit it's eight and a half pound pork butt we're gonna get this on the smoker in just a moment I'm getting the charcoal up to temp and yeah and then once I put this on I get that controlled I'm going to bed for five hours and then I'll come back out wrap it for another four to five hours right and then I'm going to bed that should be fine for at least four to five hours easily it is cold it's about 30 25 degrees I don't know <laughs> it's really cold right now I know tomorrow's supposed to be about the high is 40 it's supposed to be sunny so that'll help um, yeah we're just going to bed we'll see what this is doing in about four to five hours all right I slept a little bit longer it's been six hours and I just came out temp on the grill is 175 and uh, let's check it out oh yeah the bone starting to pop out you getting the the crack in the fat this thing's got great color still have charcoal and uh, right now I'm going to load that back up with more charcoal. I'm going to wrap this and uh, probably go another five, four hours, four hours wrapped. We're trying to get to that 195, 200 degrees and uh, have delicious pulled pork sandwiches. <music>
I loaded the basket back up, that slow and sear, and um, got the pork wrapped with a meat probe in it. Uh, we're reading 140 degrees, a little bit lower than I was expecting, but like I said, another four hours or so. Once we hit that, almost 200 degrees. Uh, we're just getting this up. We could turn this up a little bit. We cook about 275, 300 degrees, and we're down in a few tops, four hours. All right. Wow, January 5th, <laughs> 45 degrees, sunny in central New York? Get out of here. <laughs> Some years, man, it is complete opposite from last year. The beginning of this year, November, wow, that was, I thought it was going to be just like the, the previous year. So, hey, if it stays like this all winter, I'm happy. So, we are still on the Weber kettle. And we're cooking a little above 250, and the pork butt is now just over 180. It's wrapped, and um, we'll be pulling that and putting it in a cooler for a good almost an hour. So I'm thinking we'll be done here in the next two hours to pull that and put it in a cooler. Then I'm going to make up some uh, tomato cucumber salad. Heck yeah, it feels like summer. I'm going to eat like it's summer. Staying up super late is definitely worth it because this pulled pork is approaching the 195 mark where I'm going to pull it, put it in a cooler, and let it rest for an hour or so. Um, and it's only going on 3 o'clock. So definitely a great cook. I'm surprised. It was down in the 20s last night. And uh, it was about 25 degrees when I started up the grill at 4 in the morning. And then I went to sleep. And then I snoozed and missed my second alarm. And it got up at 11, so it was a little bit later than I expected. It came out here. Uh, Weber was at 175, and the um, the pork butt I think was about 145. It was almost one. It was almost 145. And that's when I pulled it, wrapped it, put it back in, and we're rocking right now. So let's put together that tomato cucumber salad and set that aside. And soon we'll be pulling this pulled pork to let it rest. let that sit aside a couple hours rock and roll man love tomato cucumber salad and I love when it's sunny outside wow 
It is super nice for a January day. Wow, I can't wait for spring. How about you guys? Comment down below. All right, we are approaching 195 on that pork butt. So I'm gonna pull it once it hits and put it in this cooler, the old BCG cooler, Beer Champ Golf Cooler that is. And uh, yeah, that's the old one. So anyway, I am, yes, 195. The grill temp is down to 222, 223, and um, yeah, pork butt's 195 internal. We'll pull that, we'll let it rest. It's only 330. You can let it rest hours, it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to go until at least 530, pull it, shred it apart, and uh, yeah, it's grub time, 530, 6 o'clock. And uh, yeah, time to pop the top and have a, have a good one. Cheers, folks. Now, I never spritzed or added any liquid to this, and it is just pouring out of that side. <laughs> there, there is so much in there. Yeah, this is dripping out right there. Wow. All right. It's going to be a little messy pulling this and putting it in the cooler. We're going to wrap this cooler. God dang. Zipped up. Yeah, we got that set for a while. <laughs> now I did. This was eight and a half pounds. I did a. I don't know what it was in the summer. I did a pork butt. It took a hell of a lot longer than this one, and it was summertime. <laughs> it was like eighty degrees out, eighty-five degrees. So, hey, still got coals. That's slow and sear, boy. I'm telling you what. That is the best piece of equipment that I've purchased. This Weber Cattle and Slow and Sear combination. You can't beat that. My old vertical smoker here. I used to love that thing. But it's a Brinkman. It's garbage. I might get a Weber Smoky Mountain one of these days. But this has been working so good. I haven't had to get one. But maybe I want to get one. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> anyway, guys. I'm gonna come back. I'm doing Carolina barbecue mustard style sauce on my sandwich later on, and uh, I'll show you that when I'm done. It's time to pull the pulled pork. Heck yeah. baby look at that <laughs> oh the smell <laughs> yeah
Yeah. Dang. All right, let's. This back over here. Oh, yes. Wow. You just go ahead and dig right in. Shred this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even need the bear claws. That is so good. I let it rest. I let it rest for two hours in that cooler. amazing so I'm gonna try a chunk with some of this Carolina mustard barbecue sauce it is so good The smell is so amazing. Pulled pork. I mean, this has been cooking for 16 hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Pulled pork, man. It's worth it. The length of cook. It takes a long time, but wow. I mean, this could have been done a couple hours ago, but I let it rest for a couple more hours than I needed to, and uh, it's still steaming. It is awesome. So now, Time to go in with the family, make up some barbecue, pulled pork sandwiches, and tomato cucumber salad, and the old lady's making something, so, yeah! And that pork butt was so, so moist, I didn't need to use the bear claws. Nope, not necessary. I just used my silicone gloves, pushed it down, shredded it apart, easy. Look at that, oh my goodness. Get one more hunk before I go in. That's dynamite, guys. Um, yeah. If you haven't tried it before, do it. Damn good. Hell yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next cook. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it's your first time here. And get yourself a nice cold beer.